Have you ever wanted new eyebrows? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Well, I, I did. Don't. People normally don't get that dressed up for court. You're Very not. nice. How do you know each other? We used to work together at the Standard in the city. And that is a? That is a restaurant, sorry. The Standard Grill. Oh, okay. The Standard Hotel in New York City. Okay, so you knew each other from work? We knew each other from work, yes. And you are suing her, why? Well, as you can see, I am mourning today. She is now dead to me. Oh. As she decided to go behind my back and betrayed me to hire another makeup artist for a photo shoot and betrayed her drag mother. You're the drag mother? Yes, okay. yes. Could you explain yeah. all that? Because I know there are gonna be a lot of people watching that aren't familiar with the community and what the norms are. Mm -hmm. So you are the drag mom, which yes. means? Which means I put her in drag her first time. Cool. It's been about two years now. It's the first time we put her in drag. She has been to multiple shows of mine, competitions, and was always there, always my number one fan and begged me to put her in drag. So finally, on Halloween, we put her in drag for the first time. And she even messaged me later at the end of the night saying, you've created a monster, <clears throat> which we have. So So now you perform as a? I am more of a, a look queen. I don't necessarily do the gigs at the bars. It's more photo shoots and that style of drag. I see. You know, get dolled up, take some photos, look yes. cute. Me too. Yeah, I can see. I mean, just in my robe. It's pretty cute. <laughs> so she was uh, brought into this world. I've created her. I've built her up. I've done her makeup for her multiple times as a look queen to go to the clubs, to make appearances, to do photo shoots. And one day I was scrolling on Facebook and I noticed that she decided to go behind my back and do a photo shoot and hired another makeup artist to do her makeup. So normally you introduce her to this business, to this career, and you would, for her appearances, do her makeup. Correct, okay. yes. And now you got upset because you noticed that she did another appearance and she didn't use you as the makeup artist. Correct. And in the drag community, you don't go behind your family's back. Somebody who's brought you into this world, somebody who has shown you the ropes. I have given her makeup and given her makeup advice. When I was taught how to do my makeup, my drag mother taught me, and we were going to do that eventually. And so she, she's always wanted to learn how to do her own makeup. And so to me, to find out that she hired somebody else and even paid them more than I've been paid was just really a stab in the back. She just goes off and does what she wants to do. It's a disgrace to the family name. Was there a contract? There's no contract, there's a verbal contract in the drag community, in the drag family not go behind your drag family's back. What about that? Jerry, you know, I, I just really think it's ridiculous that we're even here today in the first place. I mean, I had to get my nails done, I had to get some new jewelry. I mean, I knew I was seeing you, so I had to pop up, but, and you too, how you doing? <laughs> the one blessing of today was seeing you too. Otherwise, I don't understand. We had no written contract, nothing at all. I mean. Yes. Was I shady? Did I go behind her back? Yes, I did. But what about the fact that she brought you into this lifestyle and you're being very successful? Don't you kind of owe her? I mean, just in terms of human behavior or decency or fairness, you'd go to her first and say, hey, I've got this gig coming up. You've always been doing my makeup. Can you do it again? Why did you go to someone else? Is she not doing a good job? I mean, just to be nice to her because she mm -hmm. helped you. I mean, have you ever wanted new eyebrows? Uh, no. Uh, no, well, I, I did. Yeah. I mean, do you want creamy peanut butter or do you want crunchy peanut butter? I'm a jello man myself. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> wait a second, do we have pictures of your transformation? Can we see that? Okay, wait a second, that's you on the left? Correct. Wow, that's some transformation. Wow. For lack of a better term, what do you do during the daytime when you're not in drag? Uh, I actually play ice hockey. Mm. Uh, I'm a goaltender. Are you a good goalie? Not bad, you know. They, they I'm don't... humble. They don't, well, they, don't, humble. they don't score on you? Yeah, in the five hole. <laughs> you just had to do it, huh? <laughs> I just had to do it. If it was there, you... Oh, man. Now, just to elaborate on what she means by oatmeal brows. By, by the crunchy brow situation. Oh, the brows. She once hired me for a, or asked me to do her makeup for a photo shoot, which asked me to do, be in the photo shoot as well. She gave us two hours to paint both of us to, to, to take the photos at hour three. So we had three hours total to get in both in drag, 
to then do the whole shoot and then tear the whole studio down because it was her friend's studio that needed it after. So this whole crunchy brow situation is due to her not giving me the proper amount of time to properly glue down the eyebrows, to properly do a full face on her, which, as you saw in one of the photos of her selfie that she took, you cannot see any crunchy eyebrows in that photo. It was all very up close detailed. It doesn't even matter. I was painted her on the left, and then on the right was when she did the uh, photo shoot, which was the photo that I found on my Instagram. I see. Now, I do people's makeup. I do makeup and hair outside of drag. And people pay me a lot of money to do their makeup sure. for these events. And I've given her favors before. And so for her to go out and hire somebody else, I feel like I should be deserved my payment for the times that I've built her and given her this network, given her these opportunities to do these photo shoots, to then skyrocket to be amazing on her own. Okay, what is your relationship like now? We're still friends as boys here and there. I thought she died. She's dead. He's still alive. Okay, here's what I see. I understand that you're hurt. I understand that you feel betrayed. I helped you with your career, and now you go to other people. That's a normal reaction. But even though that's the norm, and that may have been a nice thing to do, in that extent, there's no legal responsibility she has. You should have said, I'm going to do your makeup, but it's going to cost you $300. Then she can make the choice, do I want to spend $300 to have you do the makeup? But if you didn't ask her for money ahead of time, she doesn't owe you. I'm not saying what, where you go from here on out, but the courts can't say you have to pay her $300 because you didn't put on the makeup that time. Correct. You didn't do it. So she doesn't owe you the money for that. I want paid for the time that I've given her. You should have to told create. her ahead of time. You got to tell people ahead of time what you're going to be charging. I wish you both luck in your careers. You'll look great, and I'm sure you'll be both very successful. But on this case, I have dismissed the case. Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.